Hello everyone out there, this is Latios Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black 2, Part 25. Last time we defeated the Elite Four of the Unova Region's Pokemon League. And Marshall told us to talk to this statue afterward, because it will take us to our destination. The Champion of the Unova Region. As we travel down this magical, mystical, elevator-like thing, as in similar to every single chamber in the Kalos region, Pokemon League, we see we are, looks like, outside still. Which is weird, because we just went under or something, and now we're just walking up all these steps. It's like training, like Rocky and the Art Museum in Philadelphia. Running up these steps. <laughs> Excuse me. So, here we go. Welcome, Challenger. Oh, and the lights just turn right on. Cool. I've been waiting for this. I guess we're gonna have to just go up and talk to her. Okay, well before oops. I don't want to use the bicycle. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. I am actually going to be starting off. with David. Because from what I've heard, her first Pokemon is probably gonna have a weakness to him. You know what? I really look forward to having serious battles with strong trainers. I mean, come on! The trainers who make it here are trainers who desire victory with every fiber of their being. And they are battling alongside Pokémon that have been through countless difficulties that on difficult battles. If I battle with people like that, not only will I get stronger, my Pokémon will too. And we'll get to know each other even better. Okay, brace yourself. I'm Iris, the Pokémon League Champion. And I'm going to defeat you! Well, here we go. We are challenging Champion Iris. Dragon type trainer who is the champion of the Unova region. And she is starting off with the Hydreigon. We're gonna start off with David, who can use a stab aura sphere and just get the should be an easy knockout. But on the other hand, never underestimate the champion. Okay, so that seems to be doing decent damage and oh! Okay, it tanked it out, went for the flamethrower, and that's gonna do damage. Did it get the burn? No, it didn't get the burn, at least. But she's gonna at least use up her, full rest her first full restore right now. It's guaranteed, pretty much, she's gonna use up her full restore now. So. David's at least doing some decent work here. Just gonna be careful. I know she has... It. I, I know she has at least one Pokemon that's not a dragon, so I do want to keep 
a few Pokemon at hand that can handle some stuff. But I just have this feeling that David's gonna be important for this battle. Okay, that time we got the knockout. So, good job, David. You should be getting a lot of experience. 5,497 experience points. Gerudagon. Just gonna go for a Dragon Pulse, see what you can do. I doubt you'll be able to do the complete knockout there. Maybe you can get maybe two-thirds damage. Well, two-thirds of its HP. You can do that, that's enough. Okay, yeah, that's enough. That's it. You'll be taken down here, but I do have revives. So David has gone down. I'm gonna switch to Henry. Maybe Henry can land an Ice Beam, and maybe the Ice Beam can get the knockout. Maybe. Assuming she doesn't go for a full restore. I would go for the Retaliate, but I'm pretty sure that Drugon has rough skin. So, at least Ice Beam's super effective. Okay, so Henry took that experience. Lapras. Oh god. Alright. Alright, Regina, you're gonna take the bait here. I know that Lapras has Thunderbolt, so I'm gonna let you just take the knockout. Just take one for the team. You're being you're being sacrificed for a good cause, and that cause being the revive for David. Okay. She is definitely going to be going for that Thunderbolt. Unless it has Thunder, which I'm pretty sure it's Thunderbolt, because at least because it's more accurate than Thunder. It's still pretty strong. Okay, so Regina has a double weakness to the Thunderbolt, so it's definitely going in. Okay, so, Regina is down. But David's now back. But only at half health. So, I'm just gonna go for that Aura Sphere, see what- just see what you can do. Sometimes you just gotta take a chance with stuff. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. So. Oh, so close! So freaking close! Okay, can you tank out a Surf? Just tank out a Surf, David. I know you can do it. Okay. You know what? I'm actually gonna go for a hyper potion here. I have a feeling Iris is gonna go for a full restore. So I'm actually going to heal up at the same time as her. Or just in case she's planning on switching. I'll be I will be prepared for that. Okay, no, she actually went for the surf. So. Not that it matters too much, since Lapras is going to be taken down anyway. And at least this way we're able to heal up David a little bit with the Lapras out instead of something else that could have possibly gotten a knockout on David after healing it up. So, he's going to gain a lot of experience right there, and she's going to go in for the Agron. Hmm. I'm going to try Henry out here. Because I'm feeling a Surf should do a lot of damage on the Agron. Wow, that thing must be heavy. Literally broke ground when it landed. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Hydro Pump. Not very accurate, but this should do a lot of damage. And Agron is down, Henry for the one-hit knockout. And a well-deserved level up. <laughs> okay, she's going for the big gun, the Axorus. Gonna send David back out. 
gonna go for a quick dragon pulse, hopefully. Because otherwise, I have a feeling that thing has Earthquake, and that's gonna get a good knockout on David, assuming it has. Maybe it'll go for a... Okay, so, David is faster. I was able to land the Dragon Pulse. So close. Okay. It went for the Earthquake. Why am I not surprised? Can David tank it? Tank it, tank it, tank it. No, okay, David just tanked. Alright. Uh... Alright, gold, here you go. Let's just see what you can do. Let's see, is she gonna go for another full restore? No, she didn't go for a full restore, is she out? Wow, Gold took down the Haxorus! Good job, Gold. Okay. Archaeops. You know what? I'm gonna let... Gold, you're... you have a weakness to it, but it has a weakness to you, too. I will hold my mind and become one with my hope. Okay, I guess we are gonna have to do that as well. Alright. Let's go for a Volt Switch here. I have a feeling it's gonna go for a Rock Slide. And it's faster, so that might just get the knockout on Gold. Okay! Gold got one hit knock I'm knocked out. Alright. Henry, your turn. Let's see what you can do. Okay. I really get nervous with that rock slide spam. Because. Okay. Because when it does that, it also has a chance of making the opponent flinch. Alright, I'm gonna try to heal up. I'm gonna try to heal up. Ooh. Oh, David. Okay. Hasn't she ever heard of a move other than Rock Slide? You know what, I'm actually gonna revive everyone that I can now. All bells still in play. Because Bell is really good at tanking stuff. That Archaeops is really starting to make me a little nervous. Okay, I went for the Acrobatics. Clearly it's not holding an item because it did a lot of damage. So. Hmm. Alright, Henry. You are literally going to be sacrificed here to heal up David fully. Which I should have done before I healed you up. This means I just wasted a, a restore. I mean, a revive. What am I thinking? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure rock when you eat steel, and the steel part should resist the flying part. So let's go for David here and just see what we can do. I don't know what David's going to be able to do against this thing, but. I can go for an Aura Sphere. I should be able to get normal damage, not super effective because it's part flying, but at least a stab bonus. Really close, okay. And should be able to tank out the acrobatics. No! Not yet! No! We can fight on! Okay. Assuming she doesn't have any items, she's gonna go for the extreme speed. Because I don't want to take chances, even though I have a feeling that's not very effective. But there's always a chance that, yes, that was enough. Archaeops is down, and we have defeated. Well, David grew to level 70. And we have defeated Champion Iris. 
and I gained 23,600 Pokemon dollars. And once again, Henry is trying to evolve. Should I let him? No. Henry, who's been with us since the beginning as an Oshawott, shall enter the Hall of Fame as an Oshawott. Okay, so Iris is happy. By having a serious battle, you and your Pokemon, and me and my Pokemon, we all got to know one another better than we do than before. Yep, we sure did. Okay, let's go. So it looks like all the, the planet things in the background, or whatever the heck that is, they all line up. Whoa. That's the entrance of the Hall of Fame. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, go on ahead. Hurry. I don't see the point of hurrying, but okay. Here we go. Wow, it's quiet in here. So, this room is the Hall of Fame. Your name and your Pokemon names will be recorded here, so these important things will never be forgotten. That you are an excellent and kind trainer, that you are considerate toward your Pokemon, and you give them your whole heart, and that your wonderful Pokemon believe in their trainer with all their hearts. And together, you have a strength that knows no bounds. Hey, come on! Oh, excuse me. There you go. To the trainer standing before me, and to the Pokemon at your side, your beautiful bond has grown strong through battle. In order to make this bond an eternal treasure, your name shall be recorded here. Okay, here we go. Enter the Hall of Fame. Henry the Ashwat. Bold the Mulga. Neil the Espion. Bell the Odino. Regina the Swan. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. So, congratulations, everyone. And it looks like we've obtained the key to challenge mode. Of course, we seem to have had enough trouble in normal mode, but you know what? You never know. Sometimes you. Sometimes a good challenge is nice, I suppose. Okay, the game can save. Alright, so. Thank you for watching this Let's Play. And, you know, what am I saying? This game isn't over yet. Oh, we have fireworks, too. Looks like we have the whole Elite Four here to talk to.
Pokemon Black 2. So, I'm actually going to be trying to take on, I guess, the post-game of this game, I suppose. But... I don't know exactly how much it really is. I've only actually played this game once, and it was a while ago. The... I will try to, like, guess go after the legendary Pokémon, I suppose. And I know that the areas from the beginning of the pre- of the- of Black and White are accessible at the end of Black 2 and White 2. So... Stay tuned for that, I suppose, because... This isn't really the end. I also know there's, like, the... Is it the Black City or the White Forest? And there's also the Pokemon World Tournament that we had so much fun in earlier, back in Driftdale City. So, we can look forward to that kind of thing, I suppose. So, that'll be coming up sometime soon. And I guess here we can just look back at some of the stuff we've seen in the past in this game. So far, I think this has been my longest series so far in the channel. I still will be doing the Wi-Fi battles and Mapan showdown battles and glitches. I might be doing another LP sometime in the future, really. Well, when I come, when I finish with Black Two, I don't know which one right the second. But if you have any recommendations, feel free to suggest. Well, any input is really great. I mean, even even just leaving a comment on the video is really helpful, because that way I have an idea of how to improve it. Even if you didn't like the vid- if you didn't like a video or an episode of any given series, I mean, just commenting on how I can improve it. Maybe you'll like the next one. Maybe it'll be worth your time. Okay, that is cool. It's a picture in the car. So I just want to once again thank everyone who has watched any of any of my videos, commented, liked them, subscribed to them. Let me see N and Zachram looking off into the distance. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.